We have already taken a look at the nominees for driver of the season, rider of the season and team of the season, but what about those moments that happened in 2023 that we just can't stop talking about? So in today's video, we'll take a look at 5 moments from the year in our nominees for moment of the season. Whenever there is a driver change midway through the season, there is usually a lot of pressure on the new driver to perform, but when Daniel Ricciardo returned to the grid, there was a sense of relief. As much as it was disappointing for Nick DeFries to lose his race seat, Formula 1 fans were overjoyed when Ricciardo first got into that Alpha Tyre in Hungary. Despite an injury at the Dutch Grand Prix forcing him to miss that race along with a further four, his return to the grid was welcomed, with many believing he shouldn't have been off it in the first place. Motorsport fans love it when the title fight goes down to the final race of the season, and we got that in MotoGP this season, as only 21 points separated Jorge Martin to eventual champion Francesco Bagnaia heading into the final race of the season in Valencia. Bagnaia was start on pole following Maverick Vinales' grid penalty, with Martin qualifying in 6th. With Martin running wide to turn 1, he rushed a move on Marc Marquez as he was trying to make up time, crashing and handed Bagnaia his second MotoGP championship in a row. 82 days were all that separated Graham Rahal's best and worst moment of the season after he took pole position for the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Despite already taking 4 career pole positions, this one was probably his best yet as it came on his return to the famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where he was the only driver to be bumped from the Indy 500 this season, meaning that he did not qualify for the race. He was fortunate, however, to still take part in the race, following an injury to Stefan Wilson, with Ray Hall taking over his car and starting from last in the grid. The Rome e Prix proved to be one of the scariest moments of the season after a high-speed crash saw several drivers retire from the race. Thankfully all were not injured after Jaguar Sandbird lost control of the rear of his car at turn 6 with Sebastian Boemi making contact with the rear of his car. This sent Boemi up and into a wall at an angle before crashing back down to the ground with several cars then making contact with either Bird or Boemi. The scariest of which was Eduardo Matara who hit the side of Bird, bringing out the red flag and leaving only 13 drivers able to take the restart. The World Endurance Championship and in particular the 24 Hours of Le Mans has been dominated by Toyota Gazoo racing in recent seasons, but in 2023 it was a turn of Ferrari to claim victory in one of the most famous races in motorsport. With the race celebrating its 100th anniversary, Ferrari would claim victory on their return after spending more than half a century away. It was the number 51 Ferrari of Alessandro Pierguidi, Antonio Giovinazzi and James Claro that would take the win after a tough battle with the number 8 Toyota, which went off the circuit late in the race in a moment that proved costly. It wasn't all easy work for the Italian team however, as on their final pit stop the car stood still in its box unable to restart before Pierre Guidi got the car going and drove the hypercar to victory. But that's our list for our top 5 moments of the season. Do we leave any out? Well let us know in the comments section below. But that's all we have time for in today's video. Thanks for watching and I hope you can join us in the next one. Goodbye.